guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this extremely special episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I am not only in my grandmother's kitchen in Italy where it all started, but we are also making the dish, the first dish I've ever remember making, which are gnocchi, and they have been so highly requested from you, from you guys for so long, and I have been just putting it on hold and putting it on hold because I was waiting to come here to make them with her. So these are potato gnocchi, which is all I really have ever eaten, and the recipe just calls for cooked potatoes, which these are Yukon gold potatoes, and some flour and salt, and that's about it. No, luego no hay bisogno, you know. You can also add an egg to bind everything together, but if your potatoes are well cooked and nice and soft, you don't even need it because it'll come together beautifully on its own. Now, I know, si può, si può mangiare con il sugo, con la salsa semplice, yeah. col burro, col pesto. You can eat this with plain marinara sauce, with my Sunday sauce, you can eat it with pesto, you can eat it with butter. L the limitations on this is, are really endless. As you can do this in a bunch of different ways, but we're going to just show you how to make the gnocchi. She has some sauce already for us, which is my plain sauce, plain marinara, which is on LaurenTheKitchen.com. Excuse me, so if you want to get the recipe, go on and check that out. And cominciamo! Bye bye! So, the potatoes are cooked and mashed up. She's adding some salt, a good amount of salt, because potatoes are very, very bland, and you need potatoes to actually make the dish taste good. And then you put, kind of pull everything together with the flour until it comes together in a nice dough. And I'll show you what that looks like once it's there. And as always, the written recipe will be on LaurenTheKitchen.com. So stick around for that one if you want to make this recipe. And I totally think you should go ahead and get that recipe. So she's, she's pretty much just going to pull everything together until she's got a nice dough formed. She has it pretty much all pulled together. Come bella, senza... senza Senza uova, senza niente, quando come uscita bella. It is such a beautiful dough without any eggs, anything. And just, I think it's all about how you cook the potatoes and you want to make sure that they're so soft that when you mash them, they should feel like baby food because that you'll have really nice smooth dough. They shouldn't be al dente, they shouldn't be, the potatoes should not have a bite to it. It should be super, super soft. And now she's going to roll them out and then we're pretty much ready to cut. And before we cut, I know she's going to make me roll these out on this wooden board because this is a gnocchi board. This is what you roll these out for the ridges. It makes ridges on the gnocchi and I have to tell you, this was my enemy as a child because it has rough edges and I couldn't, I remember being little and like rolling them on it and always catching my finger and it would be like, you know like rug burn when it burns? That's how this felt like. So I, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna bring back memories but it's okay. She's taking off her rings. I never wear my rings when I cook. Come on, bella. Okay. Mo si fa lunga lunga, no? Eh, what I say? I knew this would be my job again. Ma che se mi ricordo di fare quando ero piccirello, questo qua, e facevo mal orito perché questo era il toast, no? We used to have a, a table, really, really long table in the dining room, where we used to roll them on. We used to like let them rest on. Così hanno, eh? Sì. Sì, è così. Directly on the thing. So I'm going to be here for the next seven hours doing this. And then I'll show you what they look like once they're done. I'll be here for a while. After about 40 hours of rolling these up, we're pretty much done. If you don't have one of these boards, you can always use a fork and roll it on a fork. But this just makes life a lot easier. And now we're going to let these rest. I know, but quando tempo they want to Metra... No, 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 la ma fa mettere a secca. Eh, però è meglio si fa secca. Penso che non è vero. Quanto non ho detto? Perché si ma butta un po', perché quando butti in davvero ci butta un po' a volte, ti devi stare in un po' e mi sa da solo salto in gol. E allora non arriva a secca, si fa in da una volta, no, si fa una secca. Ah, però mi faceva asciutta un po', no? Facciamo riposare. Non è te? Non è te poi volete. Ok, we're gonna let the, you can you could cook these right away, but they are really best if you let those rest for about an hour, and then we'll cook them in boiling water. And I'll show you I'll show you what they look like once they're cooked, because they're just basically gonna cook in boiling salted water. And what happens is they float to the top. The ones they float, it only takes a couple minutes. Once they float to the top. You take them off and they're good to go. But do them in batches only because they can all stick together if you boil them at the same time. But for now, I'm going to let these go and I'm going to let them rest for an hour, then boil them and I'll show you how we serve them with a the sauce and then give, a, give them a nice, 
a nice taste, of course. Gotta give this a nice taste. Pronta, no? Non ti mai riposare? No, metti mal là. No, no, la si stacca. La si stacca? Non fa male. They're not gonna hurt anybody. Non lo pongo a poco, no, basta. Poco a poco. She's telling me toss them together with a little bit of sauce first. Grab my cheese. A little bit of basil. Boggy for much. Cheese first, then basil. <laughs> for maggio prima, for for basilico. And that is the best plain gnocchi you'll ever get your hands on. She's right. I'll give I'll give it a taste. Assaggina, assaggi tu. Mm. Ah, well, I know. You're incredible. Let's just have a bono. There's people around and they're all looking at us like they can't wait to eat. So I'm going to wrap this up so that everybody can get to eating. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with us. Saluda, no? I'll see you next time. Bye bye.